Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing more Hmong Moon Hunter. I was about to say Monster Hunter, but uh, Iceborne DLC is not out yet. And it's not gonna be out on DLC, or not out on PC until January. So we've got plenty of time for other games. So I did finally have to look at a guide to see what the hell I was missing. And apparently the Seer Beyond Stone at the very beginning of a playthrough of Moon Hunters tells you where you're supposed to go. So I actually copied and pasted it into chat right there. So if she says Queen of Heaven, it means go north. If she says Silver Sister, that means west. Pale Dancer is south. Great Mother is east. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of different statues. So I've unlocked these, but I haven't really... Well, this little section needs to be uh, taken care of. But we've got more than a couple. Like we're missing what? One... Um, two, three, four pieces of lore, I guess. This is lore, right? Future adventures. Yeah. So we're not actually doing too bad. It's just a matter of getting the actual correct ending. Wise and patient. Yeah, I still don't know how these statues are selected. Let's see if we can do all brave things. Yeah, let's go all brave. So every decision I make is going to be brave, I think. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, do I have a game loaded? I don't think so. No, I don't. All right, new game then. Oh, really? Just goes back to the beginning? New game. Okay, we have played everything, but I really like the witch. So I think we're gonna go with the witch. And our alternate costume. I think she's the best just in general. Uh, we'll do Dust Folk. And also, also, if you guys want to see... Skip this. If you want to see my spreadsheet, I've actually got it on Google Documents now. Well, actually, I need to alt tab out of this, but I'll show you guys in a minute. Whenever I need to add something new. Ooh, hold on just a second. Just keep this somewhere. Okay. All right, let's go find the seer. Get off me, get off me. World is blessed. Stuffs. There they are. Okay, so may I be guided by the Queen of Heaven and the Silver Sister. So Queen of Heaven is north, Silver Sister is west, so we have to go northwest. Just like Kanye's kid. So we're actually going to do a a no kill, <laughs> no kill, no uh, grab money run and see how that works. I am kind of curious. So fleet gives us cunning. Yeah, if you complete a level too fast, you get that. So I need to be careful. If I'm doing a brave run, oh, uh, let's see. I'm doing a brave run. I need to figure out how to get proud. Cutting if you get money. Yeah. Cutting. Vengeful if you kill too many things. I can go on a straight vengeful run. Uh, vengeful. And then fleet. And if you complete a level too fast. Okay. So we will edit all that out. We'll just try to keep track of all these different ways to complete the levels. Maybe we can just do straight up cutting. Seems safe here. Let's set up camp. Um, okay. So if we do brave, I think this counts as brave. Let's try it. Ooh, while checking traps. Uh, brace or dodge. Let me go back to my handy dandy spreadsheet here. Uh, brace or dodge. Brace or dodge, brace or dodge. Hmm. 
Brace. There it is. Now we haven't dodged, but Brace gives us f plus five Endurance and Brave. So we're gonna do Brace. Bravery and five Endurance. Okay, Brave Run coming up. Though if we keep speeding past these levels, we're gonna end up with a lot of cunning. Yeah, we don't have any money, right? Oh, we have 10. So I can get money from here at least. And this won't count towards my, my overall stats, I believe. Inspiring, three strength, three intellect. I wanna at least get something. So let's kill everything. Prideful. Oh shit. Uh, where am I at? Kill. I don't think I've seen this before. No, this is not in here. Kill Keat. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's go back. What town was this? Let's see. What's her name? Ami Shah. Oh god, I don't have it. Okay. So this is new. This was before I started keeping track of all the towns I've been in. I'll just put town. And Ami Shal. Ami Sal. The Keat Keeper. Okay, so I can kill Keat. Or watch Keat. So I'm guessing killing is probably a vengeful action. Uh, let's watch Keat and see what happens. She looks relieved and agrees easily to wait and see. So that was patient. Yeah. Patient. Yeah, so apparently a cat will enable you to talk to animals, or give you the ability to talk to animals. But, I don't see how to do it. Goat bone and the mender have some delicious leafy shoots and herbs to sell, but you'll need at least 50 opals. Yep, yeah, I'm broke, dude. Do I have 15? 13. Nope. Damu! Can't talk to animals. Rafik! Uh, when the twin owls of the pale dancer fly by sunlight and ill wind blows. Oh, I need one more. One more. The Queen of Heaven spreads her wings over the Dust Folk village. The Dust Folk say the moon is the rightful ruler of the cosmos and all its creatures. They say she echoes in the laws of our conscience. That is shit. What was that? Was that pride? Hold on a second. Moon Hunter's Guide. Uh, where was it? Was it here? Let me see. That was a golden crown. What the hell was that? That is not it. Moonhunter's uh, reputation symbols. That's what I was looking for. Celestial map. That's what it is. Uh, that would be proud. Which is not good. Uh, so I'll put statue. Gives proud. Proud. Gives proud. Gives proud. Hmm. All right. Carisha, mother of three, flirt or distract? I don't know. Carisha. Carisha? Carisha? Nope. Yeah, this was my first playthrough, and I didn't uh, keep track of any of this. Distract. So flirt probably gives me seduction. Let's see what distract does. I should have guessed you have your own share of admirers. Sorry to bother you, sweetie. You have a good feast now, hmm? Cunning shit. All right, well, I just got cunning. Maybe I'll go for cunning. Yeah, that might be a, that might be it. Food preparation. There we go, I got 15 now. Let's go get my ability, and hopefully that will be enough to just kill the boss later on. Oh shit, there's money here too. What do we got? Increased stamina when you hit. Blood charge uses less stamina. Uh, increased stamina when you hit. Let's do that. That way I can laser beam. And then use my melee attack to bring my stamina back up. 
Uh, start the festival? Let's start the festival. Where are you at? Right here. Yeah, let's start it! Nothing happens! Uh, find priestess or a ask other tribes. Hold on a second. Oop! No, 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 no! Uh, let's delete that. Let's find Seeker. Yeah, Seeker is not here. Got it. Uh, okay, Seeker. So, find Priestess. Or ask other tribes. So I'm gonna do find Priestess. Five faith and that's it. Okay, so no actual plus five something. Plus five stats. All right, let's get out of here. So we gotta go northwest based on what the seer says. Draw to the temple. Okay. Guess that's it. Northwest. So I gotta go up here. I believe. Yeah, northwest. Let's make our way over. Abandoned flats. Uh, uh, how do I insert a new column? Insert one column right. There we go. Uh, abandoned flats. Something, something. There's no way to really tell where I'm at either, is there? Nope. All right, well, we're just gonna go for it. Let me make sure everything is working. Yep, everything's working. All right, cool. Uh, let's just go cunning. Let's just run past, not kill anything. Oh, the lion. Perhaps someone more brave could get closer. Damn it, I'm not brave. Yeah, I gotta avoid combat. That looks like combat, so we're gonna avoid that. Avoid you guys. We're just gonna rush. Yeah, because if we kill things, that'll give us vengeful. We don't want vengeful. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, that is combat, I believe. Oh, the sign reads, beware. Beware of what? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Anything up here? Uh, 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 run, run, run. Don't kill anything. Nothing. All right. Let's get out of here. This should make our playthrough much faster, actually. The fact that we're not really killing anything, all we're doing is looking for events. Oh, nothing there. Oh, I didn't even realize it's nighttime. They have a little lighting mechanic here. So there's a lion here. Jesus. Ooh. All right, this will probably, the fact that we're grabbing money here, is probably going to affect what stat we get. It's my guess. Let's try to outrun these guys. We don't need that. At least not really. Anything over here? Nope. Yeah, we're just looking for events right now. Oh, shit. Well, didn't mean to get that, but I guess we'll just deal with it. Well, we killed stuff, unfortunately. Ooh, money. Can't resist. Can't resist. That it? Okay. 
Yeah, maybe we'll do a, a speed run. Just like try to find camp as fast as possible next playthrough. But I'm not gonna worry about killing anything. Do you wanna check out the merchant? See what you got? I got a hundred. Stab does more damage? Yes. That works for me. Camp is probably over here. Why does she abandon us? Soothe or... Let's see. Soothe, you gain compassion or observe. Uh, I have no idea. I have not done observe. You notice each is marked with a crescent moon. Soon. Wisdom and three intellect. Alright, so wise and plus three int. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Is it not saving? Hmm, okay. I guess it's just marking whenever I've uh, made a change. Yeah, it was. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. That's fine. Oh, get off me. Guessing over to the right. Nope, dead end. Alright, so I guess I completely missed the camp. Go, go, go. It's over to the right, maybe? Or maybe straight up. Nope, I think it's over here. Uh, I don't want to do combat. Just keep running. Keep running. Keep running. And we're at a dead end. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we gotta go north. Run, 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 run. Nothing here. Camp. There we go. Let's see what it gives us. Dash tay. Dash tay. Dash tay. Let's see. Cave, serpent. Where's the lion at? Where did he show up last time? He showed up in the withering desert. Okay. Interesting. Abandoned flats of Dashte. Oh, I got outspoken. Shit. All right, so I got proud. Yeah, dude, it's an, it's impossible to figure out how to <laughs> do a pure run of certain stats. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're not doing a brave run. I don't know how I got outspoken. Squat Shadow, a Keat Bird. Um, Keat Bird. Uh, greet. It's weird. I swear to God, I've come across this bird before. Ball of Light, Sargon, Raven, Traps. I guess not. Keat Bird. I'll do Greet. Or cook. Greet is probably not going to help me get brave. Cook might give me vengeful. Oh, fuck it, let's try cook. Uh, leaping away and running into the night. Perhaps higher spirit would help catch. Oh. Need spirit. Damn it. As dawn breaks, a figure. Yeah, 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 whatever. No one cares about you. Disagree. He ignores your words and retreats. Yeah. So, so far I think I just have cunning. What was this? Bezer. That's the town that I was just in. So let's switch that. Sheet two. Yeah, I need a better, uh, a better sorting system for this. This is not a good spreadsheet, guys. Alright, so we gotta keep going northwest. 
Windy Waves. Insert one right. Windy Waste. So the lion showed up there, and that was about it, I think. I didn't see any other events. Yeah. Alright, Northwest. Let's see if this does something. Oh, the Windy Waste. I guess this is a town. Maybe. All oh, right. Uh, what was the what was the symbol for that? I'd gotten the thing before. I think it was south, south, west, east. Uh, um, puzzle, puzzle maybe. South. No. North. Crescent. No. What was it? What was it? What was it? I wish I'd written it down. Uh, moon phase puzzle, I think. Moon hunter. So, what was it? Sarah, uh, several characters in the game say the pattern. It's down left right. Yeah, down left right. Okay. Yeah. Down, left, right. A deep calm older than the stars settles around your shoulders. Make sure the calm lessens like an exhaled breath. Breath. We can do this. Okay. Oh, wow, we go straight to the boss. Hmm. I got proud and cunning. Sure. Who's there? Cavelli, how did you... Never mind, it doesn't matter. I will destroy you nonetheless. Your eagerness for annihilation amuses me. May Asher make your passage to the next world painful. All right, let's see how much damage I do. Cease. Ah, here we go. I forgive my brother who murdered my body and whom I love. Oh, this is a moon mother. Will you love this confused child mercilessly, relentlessly, as each living soul deserves? Uh-oh. Uh, so if I go final boss... I have a final boss area here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's in random. Turn this down. Can't hear myself think. Final boss... Um, confused child. Uh, yes or no? I will say yes. Forgiveness. Learned to forgive and open their hearts. They formed a council between the tribes of sun and moon, and joy blossomed in every season. Nice. Together, Marduk's followers and the children of the moon built the world's first city. Hmm. And everyone loved From each other. From travels to other worlds, the Queen of Heaven brought a new son, the little chief. Huh. And that is why every year they bless us with their light. That's a pretty cool ending. So let's do this again and just kill him. Uh, what do we get? All children know that Cabelli was blamed for Dust Folk's village's decade of bad luck. It seemed to stem from a cursed Keat bird. After the Sun War, she became furious for not being able to run for days without sleeping or eating. Eventually, Cabelli held all the tribe's top prizes for marathon running, because that was fleet. The royal bearing of Cabelli oppressed all who looked on her. Her confidence bordered on arrogance, but many say it was well earned. Everything changed when she found a magical staff of wishes. She used the staff selfishly to wish for wealth and power, little knowing that it was cursed and devoured her soul the more it was used. Eventually, there was only a husk remaining, but her many apprentices wept and their tears formed the stars of her constellation. All right. I remember it all. You did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares about this. All right, so let's... Let's see what uh, what stats it gave me. Cunning and proud, okay. It did that. Interesting. So what else am I missing? Vengeful, foolish. Yeah, I should go for some vengeful uh, 
playthroughs. Vengeful Brave, Vengeful Foolish. And then Vengeful and Foolish just on its own. All right, let's play again. That was like a really quick playthrough. I guess if you follow the Seer's directions, you get through the game way, way faster. Uh, let's start in the, uh, the Wolf Clan. See what happens here. We remember something new with each Let's see, is the same, same start? Together, let's tell the story again and again. Same thing? Of those five feet. Yep, same thing. Let's just continue. Alright, so find the seer. And then maybe kill a bunch of things, right? If we kill a bunch of things, that makes us vengeful. Damn, we do not do a whole lot of damage. Come here. Ow. So let's try to get vengeful. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Kar Karai, I think her name is. She laughs a wolf's tooth pendant, white knuckles, Zarai. Tabira was the axe at my side, my strength, my shield. An evil fate has robbed me. What should I do? Uh, you need to be an avenger and avenge it. Let's see. Uh, Karai. Or Zorai. Zorai. Where's Zorai at? Zorai? Oh, here we go. Okay. Avenge. So if I accept, I get wisdom. So let's try. Or, yeah. So let's try Avenge. I cannot fight death. I will have trouble even finding strength to attend the first moon feast tomorrow. But maybe you. But maybe you. If you find the spirit guardian, perhaps you can somehow gain access to the underworld. She falls silent, eyes newly intent on the grave. You feel more vengeful. Yes, I like where this is going. We are doing well so far. Oh, all right, where are we going? Uh, Queen of Heaven and the Silver Sister. So Northwest again, interesting. All right. Oh, is that it? I guess that's it. Let's see if we get vengeful for killing things. Lethal. Okay, so our lethal. Lethal gives us vengeful. Got it. Lethal gives us vengeful if you kill too many things. Yes. So now we got vengeful two. Plus two. So that should give us a trait. Alright, I need... Uh, let's just go hunt for strength and spirit. Wish I could just do spirit, but maybe there's a camping thing that I could do. Zorai, I'm glad your fire is working in the darkness like Tabira and I would do. She joins you for a round of storytelling. I gain brave, which I don't want, and strength, which I do want. Yeah, okay, I already wrote it down. Bravery plus three. It's already a thing. First moon feast. Okay, I gotta be careful here because there are certain certain people I talk to will uh, affect my traits. So I want to be very, very careful about that. I can buy stuff. Yeah, I wish it told you who you were talking to. Compassionate or proud. Maybe if I just ignore everybody except... Let's see, patient, cunning, cat teaches you to talk to animals, plant seed of peace. Yeah, maybe if I just ignore everybody. Just to be safe. Oh, I need money. Money, money. I need one more. One more. There we go. Alright, let's upgrade our ability here. Uh, blood charge uses less. Well, that's kind of garbage, but whatever. 
Alright, and Kidu doesn't do anything, I believe. Nope. Okay. I know him. The eggs, I don't know what the eggs does. I'm guessing the eggs uh, are uh, an ingredient for cooking. And then Zarai doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm not sure what this dude does, or this dude. So we're gonna ignore all these people, and just... I think we're just gonna start the festival. Well, we'll gain this. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And what does the statue do? It gives cunning, so we don't want to do that. We're not gonna do any of this, we're just gonna start it. Yes. And nothing happened, right? Same stuff? Let's see if this changes. Okay. Nope. So the first two cutscenes are the exact same. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay, so northwest again. Yeah, oddly enough. Uh, she did say the spirit guardian. That's an old shrine. Let's follow the seer beyond the stone. And we gotta kill a bunch of things. Right? Just to stay vengeful. Probably don't want to kill too many plants either or gather too much money. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe once we can speak with animals, we can actually interact with that fox. Come here. Yeah, let's kill everything. So we can be as vengeful as possible. grab too much money though we might end up with cunning instead so we gotta be careful about that too 23 maybe we just won't do money either I feel like we're killing enough things that we don't have to worry about it right I think we'll be good yeah we've got vengeful and we're killing everything, so that'll probably give us more vengeful traits. Hey, Hefe! Hey, Crazy Cane! What's going on? We're doing a, another playthrough of this game, trying to get different endings and different statues. Mountain Beached Whale. That is an epic freaking name. Welcome, man. Have you played uh, Moon Hunters before? Yeah, so basically this game gives you different endings depending on how you play through the game. In A, the decisions you make on certain events, and B, how you play certain maps. So each map, at the end of the map when you camp for the night, you get a trait based on how you played it. So if you kill a bunch of creatures, you get, oops, hold on a second, I have to run away from this guy. You get the vengeful trait, which affects what your story is at the end. Yeah. There's just a bunch of traits. <laughs> if you pick up a bunch of money, you get greedy, which contributes to the cunning trait. But yeah, you basically get five days to do an adventure. And then at the end, you fight the boss, and then depending on what choices you made, it, it gives you like a story. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's a little hard to wrap your head around all the decisions, because the maps are kind of randomized for the most part. The towns are, you know, stay the same. The same villagers are in the same town. Marie Domain, where do you think you're going? Eel breath, pa, you're not even brave enough to bother with. Ooh, that was rude. Uh, let's write that down, Marie. Oh, I guess you need brave. Need brave. Yeah, and there's certain events you can only unlock if you have certain stats. I did not have the brave trait, so I couldn't. 
I've looked a couple of times, it looks fun, so it's like a roguelike, but the world sort of remembers your choices. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, so the, the towns are... Uh, don't change. The events uh, will show up in different locations. And uh, I actually had to kind of spoil this for myself because I kept getting the same ending over and over. But at the very beginning, you're in um, this one location called the Outskirts. And there's this guy called the Seer Beyond Stone. And she says she prays to uh, certain goddesses. And depending on the goddesses she mentions, that determines... Um, where you would go if you want to uh, fight the boss early and get a different ending. So in this instance, she had mentioned that she prays to the Queen of Heaven and the Silver Sister. So Queen of Heaven means North, Silver Sister means West, so we're going Northwest. Just like Kanye's kid. What is this? A woman grooms herself with a jeweled comb. So I've been keeping track of every event and what the event gives me so I can figure out the best way to get certain traits. Examine. The problem is there's so many events. My guess is also that, uh, hold on. I've got a spreadsheet here. Woman grooms herself. Woman grooming herself. Woman grooming herself. So I can either examine or I can take. I think I'm just gonna take. Cause I'm trying to stay vengeful and evil. Yeah, it's also four player co-op too, which is interesting. Take. The moment you pocket the comb, you are engulfed by darkness. Aha, I've got you, thief. You're dragged into the water, you hear a chuckle as you lose consciousness. Oop, so that was cunning. So I got cunning. Oh, Nagama, that's her name. Okay. None can resist Nagama's charms. In return for stealing my comb, I shall make you my servant. Okay. So I'll do bargain or flirt. So if I get flirt, I get seductive, which uh, I'm not necessarily opposed to. So let's, let's flirt. Let's flirt. You are a charming one, Cabela. Give me a kiss before I set you free. Ah, uh, the water ripples, but there is no sign of Nagama's presence. I gain seduction. I think it's char- uh, it's seduction, seduction, and plus 10 charisma. Straight out of D&D. Oh, nice, I was looking silently at one point and saw a Cenotar in your game. I was wondering if that was actually him or some sort of name terrible. No, so the first time I started streaming, uh, Moon Hunters, or maybe the second time, Cenotar was hanging out. I think he had he was not streaming uh, that week because he had some issues with his uh, like a tooth or something like that, some medical issue. But uh, he actually owned the game, and so I was like, dude, jump on, you know, install the game, and let's play. So we actually played a couple of rounds, and uh, yeah, if you play co-op, they actually stay in your game. They're like immortalized as statues, which I thought was a nice touch. All right, let's exit. So, let's see. Let's try to find the camp. Oop, we have something like this. The world is blessed by the moon and the sun. Oops, what is this guy doing? Pretty neat. Yeah, it's interesting. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know quite how to, what to make of it. Balawat, never have I gazed upon one so breathtaking as I have today. Truly, your beauty shines like no other. All right. This is the first time I've met this guy outside of a town. Usually, he's in competition with this other guy that's like, who's the most handsome? And you have to choose and always, always flirt, exactly. When in doubt, flirt. What, no, not you, you dolt. Now hush and leave me with my true love. Oh, he's looking in the, in the uh, reflection of the pool. He turns back to the water to speak to his own reflection, which gazes in returned adoration. Oops. Yeah, so what happens is, if you make two choices that are um, for a particular trait, like if you, make, if you make two seductive choices, you gain the trait. So I did seduction for the mermaid, or whatever that was, and, uh, and I did seduction for this guy that's in love with himself, so I ended up with the seduction trait. You sound like a bard. Yeah, bard time. Oop, 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, last game I played I tried to do accents, but man, I cannot do accents, let me tell you. Southern is about all I can do. German, nope, terrible. Russian, terrible. British, not good. Australian, kind of, though it kind of bleeds between Russian, or not Russian, uh, it bleeds between British and uh, Australian. Uh, Reed Pipe. I'm a holy paladin, thank you very much. I'm actually playing a, uh, a lawful good paladin in my offline play of Baldur's Gate 2. I thought about playing Baldur's Gate 2 on stream, but man, it's just, it, there's too much text. Too much. My accents are terrible, it does not stop me. Hey Kane, I will say, you have an excellent British accent. <laughs> it's almost like you're from, from there or something. Uh, the reed pipe. I saw the reed pipe. So if I play, I gain foolish. If I steal it, something happens. You feel an almost irresistible force pulling you towards a river. You drop the pipe as you're about to fall in and it disappears with a splash. Oh, you're Maltese. Oh, right, right. I think you had mentioned that before. Cunning. Damn it, I got cunning again. But you sound so British, though. So. Yeah. Ah, uh, I've got cunning. So I was trying to do a vengeful only playthrough, but it's just, it's almost impossible unless you just completely ignore events and just kill everything and run to camp. This thing heals you. Yeah, so I'm not gonna get a vengeful playthrough, I think. Let's see. Let's go up here. No. Yeah, um, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, northwest area that I had to go to last time, I finished the game in like, what, five minutes, I think? It did not take long at all. I mean, I've lived here for about a decade, so I probably picked up a bit. Makes sense, yeah. Oh, shit, shit. I hate these guys. I, I really cannot stand these guys. You gotta basically run them out of stamina and then stab them in the face or behind them. Let's kill everything. Kill everything. Yeah, there are also nine different heroes you can play, I believe. Something like that. She's the witch. I, I She's definitely the best as far as solo combat. You have a bard, you have a melee fighter, you have a druid, um, a snow dancer, which is like a snow ninja kind of deal, and a couple other things. That's a combat. I don't want to do that. I'm just looking for camp, man. Where's that? Hey, so Kane, were you playing uh, Slay of the Spire earlier? I dropped in for a brief moment. Got home late, so I didn't have much time to prepare. Yeah, I think Cenotar plays uh, Slay of the Spire also. Come on, run yourself out. Ugh. Ugh. Woo! I was indeed. What type of game is that? I think it's, actually, I think my friend plays it. Like a card-based dungeon crawly type of game? I have a terrible memory, so I may be just be completely and utterly wrong. All right, there's camp. Uh, let's see if there's anything else to kill. Oh my god, all these guys. Ah! Uh, I really do not like these guys. I'm gonna die. I should run back. We're done here. Deck building roguelike. Got it. Yeah. I think I remember seeing it. Uh, let's camp. Alright, so we camp for the night. The Cerulean Estuary. Very epic sounding name. This, oh, this spreadsheet is painful. Cerulean Estuary. Ah, uh, so I got fleet because I finished the the level too fast. Dumb. 
Alright, let's go hunt. Uh, five strength, two spirit. You hear a woman's bone deep sobbing somewhere nearby. Is it a ghost? Have I seen this before? I don't know. Uh, sneak? Nope, I haven't. This is a new event. So. A uh, woman sobbing. Sneak up and invoke. Invoke or sneak up. What's more vengeful? I don't know. Sneak up. You tiptoe to find Zorai kneeling, miserable in the moonless dark. She startles to see you. I can't let the peer go. I must barter with the spirit guardian. Zorai slips into the night, purpose bright in her eyes. Cunning. Exactly the trait I didn't want to get. <laughs> Spirit. I usually don't like card-based games, but I got in Humble Monthly. Figured I'd give it a try, and honestly, I'm seeing the appeal. Getting a really good deck and working on new builds is addictive. Yeah, I could go for like some deck-building type games. Um, I like board games a lot, and uh, there's this game called Sentinels of the Mu Multiverse. It's a really fun uh, card-based game. And I used to play Magic the Gathering a lot. But uh, it's just uh, prohibitively expensive. So I stick to Steam sales. King Mardok announces blah blah blah. We don't care. He comes every playthrough and tells you that he's going to kill you. So I'll just disagree. Yep, three days remaining. So this should be where the boss is at because the seer said northwest. So let's give it a try. All right, let's go kill. Oh, so we can summon. And you find out in later playthroughs, like someone will eventually tell you, you do down, left, right, which is, uh, I don't know, dark moon, full moon, and then crescent moon. And then you summon the moon mother. Oh, the magic, uh, our magic, the music, the music's amazing. A deep calm older than the stars settles around your shoulders. Eventually the calm lessens like an exhaled breath. We can do this. Yeah, so you'll get over here, and this is the Sun God boss. Who's there? Cabelli, how did you? Never mind, it doesn't matter. I will destroy you nonetheless. Your eagerness for annihilation amuses me. May Asher make your passage to the next world painful. And he's actually pretty easy. At least with this character. There's a bard character that is completely awful. Cease! I forgive my brother who murdered my body and whom I love. Will you love this confused child mercilessly, relentlessly, as each living soul deserves? I said yes last time, so I'm gonna say no this time. Huh! Heartbroken. She sounds like. The dialogue from Shadow of the Colossus a little bit. Let the new age begin. Without the moon's light, the sun's influence mm. grew and grew. Poke, poke, poke. Exactly. Most believe she was devoured by the sun who shines even brighter. Okay. Under the rule of our first king, cities of the sun created technologies never dreamed of in time. Voice acting is also top notch. Yeah, this game, like, just on the whole, it's just a very unique game, but has just, like, so many nice aspects to it. Like, the graphics, I love the graphics. I love the voice acting. I like the gameplay. And the music is just... Ooh, what is this over here on the right? Yep, so this is my story after, you know, you defeat the boss. Uh, legend has it that after the Sun Wars, Cabela used her famous endurance to become a professional poison taster, keeping the first elected High Queen safe from Sun Cult attacks. I don't know what I did to get that. Uh, helped a grieving widow, widow after she lost her great love to disease. That was the very beginning. Uh, she built schemes. So I think that was related to my cunning trait. And then vengeful is probably for this wrath paragraph here. Yeah, Cabelli the dragon. 
yeah. And this is just, he comes back and he's just like, hey, let's fight. But it's not really a story. It's really just horde mode where you fight 30 waves of enemies, which is not really interesting at all. Yeah, so you get statues based on each uh, type of playthrough you do. Like I did a completely seductive play somehow and I got the rose. This was, oh, this was just vengeful. Okay, so it takes the trait you have most of. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then you have other stuff that you can unlock. You can unlock other starting locations, other heroes, and then like lore. And costumes, cosmetics. Yeah. So that's what I've been trying to do, is fill in these empty spaces here. But they don't really give you a hint of what you need to do. At least for these ones. For the statues, it just tells you, oh, be cunning and seductive. Oh, be wise and patient. So it comes to this. You must choose a hero to battle Oblivion. Yeah, at some point I will go through 30 waves of enemies, but it's actually just kind of boring to watch. So I figure I'll just do new games. Uh, yeah, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, so seven different heroes. Songweaver is garbage. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Probably good as a support character for multiplayer, but terrible solo. Uh, Spellblade's pretty good. Ritualist, not so good. Druid, I've only played once. Sun Cultist is okay. All right, well, let's do the Spellblade, just to change it up. Use our alternate costume here. Like all bards, yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, let's do the High Tribe, I guess. Yeah, the High Tribe determines what your starting area is. I think this is his starting area normally. And this is the same. Basically, the Sun Cult's gonna kill us in five days. Yeah, so you always start off in the outskirts. The air is getting thin. Yeah, so I have my little tornado attack. I have an AoE. And I just have my little dodge. Yeah, he's pretty good. I still think the witch is better, though. If I just go... Well, I got a vengeful playthrough that time, right? So maybe not kill everything. Oh, it's on Switch. I think I just found my next co-op game. Yeah, dude, it's... it's, it's fun. It is fun co-op. Oh, a uh, sun cult shrine. I did something with this last time. What was it? Uh, let's go destroy. Uh, so let me rename this to Sun Cult Shrine. Sun Cult Shrine. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out, uh, Kane. Destroy. I gain Vengeful. Vengeful. If I study, I gain Wisdom. So I don't know. So I guess, I don't know. I'll destroy. No, no, no. I'll study. Wisdom and three intellect. Yep. Okay. So that was correct. You ever play Swords of Ditto? No. What is that? All right. So here's the seer that tells you where to find the boss. When I feel lost, I play in the general direction of the Queen of Heaven and Silver Sister. Why do they keep saying the same thing? Northwest. I guess... He doesn't change? Hmm. Or maybe I have to do an actual playthrough. Like go through all five days and uh... Yeah. Oh, what is that? I can't see. Hey! Beach Whale! Thank you! Thank you for the follow! Yeah, so I think I'll go through all five days and see if that changes the location. This is Zelda A Link to the Past style roguelike with really good co-op. Okay. Hmm. I will check it out. I'm gonna write this down. Yeah, I usually find games either by word of mouth or if I get really, really bored, I will just. Oh, what am I writing on? Do I need this? No, I don't need this. I'll usually just Google top indie games of 2019 
that usually gives me an idea. I'll usually find like, you know, a couple games that I wanna I wanna check out. Outskirts clear, so I got rowdy. How do you get rowdy? What does that use? It is so hard to figure out <laughs> how you get certain things. Well, let me write this down. So rowdy is I think that's foolish, that trait symbol. So maybe if I just destroy things and not kill stuff? I don't know. Kind of similar to that it puts you in an open world. You have a time limit. You get as strong as you can before the end boss appears and you're forced to face her. But you can force the fight earlier. Time based. Okay, is it like, um... What's that one RPG? Was it like 5 second hero or 10 second hero where you could like add time to the clock if you do certain activities? Uh, I'm gonna go... I don't know. I'll go hunt, because strength. Why is Damuzi? I need your insight. We all know the four-faced goddess, and yet, some say there is only one truth. It seems to me the gods, too, should be as constant as one plus one. Always two forever. Um, so I did one of these choices. Which one was it? Where are you at? Interrogate, forgive... Uh, cues. Huh, I thought I wrote this, wrote this down somewhere. Travain Cathar. Alright, well I guess that's new. Travain Cathar. Discuss. I kind of want to check out that other game that Huffshi was uh, playing. What is it, Remnants? It seemed vaguely Dark Souls-ish. Well, no, but yes, the time limit is way more than five seconds, but there are also ways to add time to the clock. Okay. Hmm. I will check it out. Swords of Ditto. I'm going to accuse this guy. What? Me? What sunshine? That wasn't... I can't... Well, I have to be going. He hurries to the east, towards the low, slowly growing dawn. Uh, vengeful. Vengeful. Five sprits. I was only half listening. What is Vaguely Dark Solar? That game that uh, Huffsy was uh, playing. Was it Remnants, I think? He was playing it multi Twitch. Uh, it was the guy that you raided yesterday. First Moon Feast. Getting a bit late, so I'll head off. Catch you later. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out, man. I'll catch you later. Oh, Remnant. Yeah, I love to look at that. Yes, yes. The comp. The, I, I, I love boss battles, so. That boss battle reminded me directly of Dark Souls. Uh, okay, so we're going to Uruk. Uruk. Alright, so... If I talk to... Brave. Mm, do I have enough money? Climb and climb till you reach the hills of Nidli. Hee hee hee. Uh, dash is less stamina. Sure. Um... What's this here? Sirius leaves because she doesn't want to get married to this guy, wherever he's at. This guy, Ilmar. Yep. Uh, if I look at the statue, I think I gain Brave. Yep, Brave. Okay. Then if I go in here, I can look at my previous hero and you gain a stat uh, boost. Three strength, three intellect. Yeah. What else is there? Pride. Seductive. I need pride. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do I have pride yet? No. There should be two dudes over here. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Right, right. Who is the most, uh... Who is the most handsome? So if I pick Militus, I gain pride. Right? Pride. Oh, that was... what? Oh, okay. That's weird. Maybe it's random. Seduction? Question mark? There's definitely some Dark Souls inspiration there, and it looks like a way better Dark Souls with guns than the one I played a while back. Oh yeah, the one with the snipers. Yes, I, I distinctly remember you being there, uh, being there for that. 
Yeah, that did not look like a fun game. Cause you got past that one part and then you got killed and had to start it all over again. Yeah. I, uh, I have no interest in playing that game. Hey, Sean, what's up, man? Uh, what do I do, what do I do? Yeah, let's just start the, start the event. Yes. All right, we're gonna skip everything. So it said that one dude went to the uh, went to the right, went east. So maybe there's a way to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so if I go northwest, I'll just find the god person again, which is not really that interesting. So I think if we just go east. I'm gonna run out the five days and see if we get a new ending. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we'll look for events and that's it. Uh, let's go to the left. Yep. Take that money. Welcome, fleeing the stink of logic. I know that hunger for joy. Eat my fruit. It is newly harvested from the holy mountains. Uh, so I do not think I had. Hmm. Okay. So last time she just like threw me out because I guess I was too logical. But now I can feast or I can flatter. Um. Let's feast. Flatter's probably gonna give me seduction. Let's feast. From the bones and blood of the Silver Sister comes the true knowledge of the heart. Dance with me. You dance unheard rhythms, a thrumming of the mountain that pulses through your legs. Five faith and that's it? Really? All right, five faith. That was boring. I was hoping to get a trait out of it. that out of there. All right, well, I guess that's it. Ooh, let's run, gotta run. There's a shrine over there that heals, but we don't really care about that. We're just looking for events at this point. I'm off to bed, I'll catch you later, have I? All right, Crazy King, thanks for stopping in, man. I'll catch you uh, next time you're on. This is Lamesh. Ooh, uh, my son's illness worsens. I thought if I made a pilgrimage, now that I'm here, the steps are more steep than I thought. Uh, last time I encouraged him, and he told me to piss off in no uncertain terms, so we're gonna mock him. See what that does. Always a pleasure. Yep. I will show you, I will show everyone! Rah! He begins to sprint up the mountainside. So that's cunning. So we get cunning from that. Cunning. Yeah, I may just combine this. It seems like all these events are random across every every area. So I don't really need to categorize it by area. I can just kind of put everything in one column and just note the events. Get out of here. Go off to the right. Yeah, we're just gonna look for events, get all the events, and then camp. The boss is pretty easy to beat. Uh, that's combat, we don't care about that. Dead end, probably. No? Woo! Uh, this camp. All right, let's finish looking around for any more events. I really want to have a complete guide to all the events. I've encountered this coin before. It's three, yeah, three different things. Coin. So I can listen, gain 20 opals, and gain wise. I can keep 
I haven't done keep. Let's try keep. You pocket the coin and take note to sell it to a merchant later. You gain 20 opals. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so 20 opals. Lame. Oh shit, 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 he's back, he's back. <laughs> this is a big old map. Oh, we got a shrine. The Pale Dancer. The Pale Dancer. Um... Praised. Ah, uh, crap. Which one is it? Oh, here we go. Humble Shrine? No, that's not it. I need to start making... Differentiate between these shrines. Pray and study. Oh, here we go. Old Shrine. Uh, stone Shape. And I'll probably Pale Dancer. There we go. Okay, so if I... Oops, where'd it go? Pale Dancer. So if I pray, I gain five faith and wise. If I study, I gain three int and wise. Let's gain wisdom. Yep, okay. Oh, we got food. Food strangely doesn't smell like anything. Perhaps someone more foolish would take a bite. Oops. Oh. Yeah, because I think I ate the food before. Maybe I'll steal it next time. <laughs> Luma. Luma just invited me to play Dead by Daylight. Dude, I'm streaming. <laughs> it's been a while since I played Dead by Daylight, too. Alright, let's go to the right. Or is the right just a dead end? It is just a dead end. Yeah, I don't know how to get more ingredients, honestly. I think you can get some in town, but it seems like the drop rate for these are really, really rare. And they really only help during multiplayer. Let's go to the right. We got a merchant, which I don't think I have enough money. 36? I might be able to get something. Nope. Broke. Broke person is broke. Ah. Ah, oh, shit. I ended up in combat. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh. Got me. Money. How much money do I have now? 67. I need 75 to buy an upgrade. Whoa. We're just running. All we care about are our events. Oh, trips over rocks. Stubbing a toe. Someone more vengeful might take their frustration out here. Damn it. I wasn't vengeful enough for the, uh, the last time I played through. I wonder if I start off in this town again, will I encounter that rock? I don't know. Yeah, I'm broke. Oof. Oh, we got a cave. With money? Money. Very little money. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's go back to camp. We're done here. We should probably heal. Let's go heal.
Oop. Want to avoid combat. Do not care. Do combat. I do need to find that old spirit guardian. I've only found that person once. And I killed him. <laughs> so. I want to do the other choice. Actually, let's kill you. Give me that money. 74. Oh, I'm one away. Really? Alright, let's camp. Mashu Summit. Oh, I got outspoken again. Yeah, I got wisdom for some reason, too. Oh, I found you at last. Come, Reveler, drink the holy nectar of the goddess. Oh, because I was able to meet her the first time. Um. Okay, so this is the first time she's actually visited before. Drink or decline? I think drinking is way more interesting. So let's drink. The juices taste strongly of summer moonlight and childhood mischief. You fall into a deep dream. A great ruler weeps in the darkness, inconsolable. Her tears splash into starlight. Uh, foolish. And three faith. Oh, I got foolish now. Why? Hmm. Old shrine, sun cult shrine. Maybe I'll play as the sun cultist next time. Maybe that'll change things. I kind of want to go here because I want to get to this little pier. So let's go that way. Let's go that way. I can also go back to town at any time and not uh, advance it. I did get a coin, so. Pray to the moon or attack. Oh, sun drinker. Uh, pray to the moon or attack. I thought I had it here somewhere. Hold on a second. Pray to moon. Oh, here we go. Okay. Proud or vengeful? Uh, let's pray to the moon. Now we're proud. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh. Get some money. Okay. Oh, let's go up. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, what is this? Combat? Combat, shit. I don't know why they stand there. Yeah, they just pause. Oh, those are scrolls right there, so that's an item I can mess with. Right? No? No, it isn't. Interesting. Thought I could interact with this somehow. No, nothing. Well, shit. That was a waste of time. Huh. Weird. Oh, lesson you are even putting in a bunch of work into this. Are you nearing the good ending? I don't really know, <laughs> Lucidius. Um, I finally looked at a guide just to see what the uh, the seer at the beginning of the game is talking about. And I did an ending where we became friends, and I'm not sure if that's a good ending or not. But, like, you can complete the game in less than, like, five minutes if you just follow directions. But, uh, I don't know. It didn't seem like the good ending. It was a good-ish ending. But, uh, oop, you hear a roar. The ground shakes a little beneath your feet. The air smells of smoke and ash. Let's go. Let's fight. 
Over here? Yeah, so I'm not sure uh, how to get the good ending yet. Serious. Um, yeah. Because, like, how many achievements have I gotten? About half? So I'm still missing a lot of different uh, events. The problem is trying to keep track of all the traits that you've done and all the decisions you've made. So I have this little... Here, maybe you guys can see it. This is my freaking spreadsheet here. So I have, this is like random. This is uh, towns, let me rename that to towns because towns never change. So I've got these different towns and then the characters and what they give me. Like this gives me seductive, this gives me pride. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's so much information. It's so much information. And the random areas, like the pinnacle, I'm not sure if I even need to categorize these things because I think all these events are just randomly distributed. So I think these are all just events that you could potentially encounter. And it gets it gets kind of crazy, right? Hey, look at that. Look at how many random places I've been to. It's kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Well, these are the towns. Yeah, these towns never change. And then some of them will be, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, like some of them, like if I go to this town and I try to talk to this chica, you need to be brave to even get these options. So it's just, it's, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> Wait, this is not towns, is it? Hold on a second. I am confusing myself here. Camp outskirts. Oh God, okay. Damn it. I have I have the towns in both areas. Err. Well, that's gonna confuse things. I'll I'll combine everything later. But yeah, so that's 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 kind of where I'm at. Uh Sirius. Who is it? Who sent you? And I got wisdom. Which I think I did already. Let me check my handy dandy guide. Uh Sirius. Yeah, gain wisdom. Oh, and I can't even go in. Damn it. Yeah, so, so far I think I've gotten one, two, three, four, five endings. And I don't know how many total endings there are. Yeah, so what's what are my stats right now? Wise, foolish, proud. I don't even know if that's what I need. Ooh. Oh, it's a boss battle. I, I want to avoid that. Or not a boss battle, I'd say. Oh wait, it's dangerous. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think we've done this before. A demon has marked you as our own, Damuzi. Why do you follow a harlot of the shadows? What do you get out of it? Um, I think I did strength last time, and I ended up fighting a bull. So let's do insight. See what that does. Your goddess has abandoned you. Her insight is of no use to you here. A scarred creature lumbers out, eyes dark and dull. I gain wisdom. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, that hit me? That's BS. <laughs> oh, shit. I dodged right into that. That was weird. Okay, well, I gained wisdom, at least. Wise. This reminds me a little bit of Rogue Legacy. Oh, I haven't heard of Rogue Legacy. Let me write that down. Rogue Legacy. Yeah, the problem with this game I'm having is, I don't know, trying to organize everything in a way that makes sense. Charm, Faith, Hunt. Yeah, because since the events are random, I can't really plan for what traits I should go for. Um, you can't, I did figure out you can go back to towns. Yep. Can you? I thought you could go back to towns. Okay. And sell stuff, but okay, I haven't been to the Port of Five Winds, so let's do that. Let's do the Port of Five Winds. Port of Five Winds. Five Winds. Come on. Typing. Fundamental. 
All right, let's see what's over here. This is new. And I think next playthrough, I'm going to play as the Sun Cult guy. And see if that changes a lot of my options, since I'm technically playing the enemy. Ooh, money. Alright, so first, we have a merchant, so let's go upgrade some things. Uh, longer stun. Tornadoes pull enemies inward. I don't really use my AoE attack, so let's get this. And get out of here. I think I have been here, actually. Jobin, the mistress of tides, hides her pale face and we're stuck here, kicking the sand until she returns. Sorry, Tenderfoot. Our fine imported ingredients cost at least a hundred opals. Jesus. No, Tenderfoots aren't allowed on this on the home isles. Even in times like these, the lady's surely still watching and she wouldn't approve. I hope the lady returns to us soon. My son will be frightened where he waits for me across the sea. Anybody over here? No. Yes, yeah, so I don't really know what to do in this town. Jacques Choi. Alas, but the capture and care of this little friend cost me a hundred opals. Perhaps you can afford to buy her someday. Okay, so I gotta remember to come back to the port with money. Come back with 200 opals. Right, 100 each. Then I can grab the creature and I can grab the ingredient. Yeah, so I didn't really do anything. And I think towns do not advance the, the timeline. So this was kind of a freebie to come here. Oops, can I not go? The hell? Oh, maybe I gotta go out this way. Yes. Two days remaining. Hmm. That's another town. The mangroves. What's in the mangroves? Hmm. Senior Hefe. Hey, Luna. How are you? Welcome, welcome. You're just about... I don't know. What time is it? How long have we been streaming? Hour and some change? Oh, we got another 40 minutes. How have you been? Uh, the mangroves? Man, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go to the mangroves. Let's see what's over here. Maybe we did s Oh, yeah, the mangroves has the alligator. So we can make a different choice there. Right? Beware the river queen. Coon scales are made of river stones. Her curses flow, constant as the river. Just around the river bend. Okay, so let's go do this. Mulberry leaps away at your approach. Yeah, I still have not figured out a way to talk to animals. All right, I've done this before. I showed respect last time. So let's just greet him and see what happens. Hold on, show respect. Yeah, I got wisdom and three faith. Greet. Laughter splashes as the creature's claw jaw snap up in a show of power, then sink out of sight. You gain bravery and three endurance. Brave, three endurance. We're spreadsheeting it, Luna. <laughs> There's too many events for me to keep track of. I vowed vengeance. Okay. Get that money. And I think that's it here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the map... I'm pretty sure the map changes each time we play. Right? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm a liar. Quumron? Yeah, I don't remember Quumron being here. Azure Bog, Bitter Crystal. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So we can look at the statue and gain stats from our last playthrough. Inspiring! Three strength and intellect. So I'm a Quumron. Go to my little town thingy here. See what we can do. Where are we at? Home run. 
I'm not sure I followed all the steps of the ritual of face washing correctly last night. I hope I haven't brought bad luck. To think that Hefe once sat here for the first moon feast too, many years ago, it brings me comfort. I calculate that Hefe at time of death was approximately 5,206 times more powerful than I am right now. Hmm. This game looks really cute. It is. It's a very like roguelike game where you can play co-op, but it's also calming. And the music is just really, really good. Surprisingly good. I said a mean thing to my sister this morning, and now I see a dark shadow in the waters following me. With the moon's disappearance, I fear the River Queen may have lost any of her mercy. What should I do? Uh, if I apologize, I get compassion. If I forget, I get foolish. I'll say forget. I was hoping you'd say that. The River Queen probably doesn't exist, right? I'm probably making a big fuss over nothing at all. Three endurance and foolishness. Yep, all right. Oh, uh, what's over here? I'm not saying I agree with the Sun Cultist, but perhaps writing would help us remember all of our rituals and calculations. Yeah, I'm hoping these events aren't blocked by the type of hero you play. Can that just be too many variables to keep track of? You cannot see it, but fish are frenzied beneath the water's surface. They swim around and around as if mad. Without the moon, they are lost. My best lures do not draw them to bite. What should I do? Um. I haven't tried waiting. Forage gives me cunning, so let's wait. No matter how patient I am, my family must still eat, but perhaps the moon will return if I just wait. Patience and three endurance. Patient. Three endurance. Yeah, this is my, uh, <laughs> this is my spreadsheet, Luna. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So I got all the events that happen in camp. The outskirts, all the different towns. I wrote that to town. And then I have the random locations where random events show up. It's a mess. It's a mess. Alright. Patience, got it. Uh, I think I can buy something, right? Um, I'm gonna keep my money just in case if I can buy other things. Have you heard the legend of the Great Hefe, blessed by the Silver Sister? Of course you have. Apologies for any insult. Huh. Uh, let's go talk to the Prophetess. We are honored by your visit, Heroic Dumozi. Bring you any news to explain the Silver Sister's departure? That was something. Towns. Uh, where are we at? Uh, so if I do Sun Cult, I get Vengeful. If I do No, I get Patient. Let's do Patient. We must continue our calculations. Patient. Now I have Patience. So Wise, Foolish, and Patient. Azure Bog. Yeah, I gotta remember Quamron. I'm gonna make a note all the way west and see if the map changes next playthrough. All the way west. Next to the Azure Bog and the Great Mangrove. Next to Azure Bog and Mangrove. Now let's see if that changes anything. What else do we got? We can go to the other town. Bazer. Uh, let's talk to people, see what happens. Ignores you. Get a stat boost. Yep. Gobble gobble! Yep, I can't speak with animals. Um. Bazer. Hey, I have some achievements too, you know. Let's talk about those instead. Oh, this is new. Uh, women on bench. Let's see, give proud. Okay, so I can describe or I can exaggerate. Uh, let's, let's exaggerate. They will defer their brows and demoozies and possible exploits. Cunning in three spirit. Cunning. Three sprints. Free spirit. Alright, so next time we do this, we'll get described. Oh, that gives me proud and cunning also. 
and proud. So that's two different things. Proud. All right, let's talk. One of the Keats was born with the mark of a son on its back. I haven't told anyone. What if we are cursed? What should we do? Um, so I think we did, if we watch, we get patience. So if we kill, what do we get? Amishal frowns, but not saying she will obey and dispose of the bird. Vengeful. Oops. I don't know if that was what I wanted. Okay, what else we got? I have a few extra herbs. They're not great for medicine, but they smell sharp and flavorful. I can sell them to you, Demuzi, for 50 opals. I don't know if I own them already. Sure, let's buy them. The herbs are sure yours. Hey! Okay, so I did not have herbs before. So I'll write bot uh, re uh, ingredient. So I can keep track of all the ingredients I, I bought. You can get them at each town. And some of them you can get while you're just traveling around. Wow, oh, Demuzi, you're brave, aren't you? I heard about your courage. You're a lion. Yes, I am. I like driving camels because the caravan goes east, the same way the brave great mother faces in the night sky. Okay. Rafik, when the twin owls of the Pale Dancer fly by sunlight, an ill wind blows. Very foreboding. None of our folk could be sun cultists. No, they must all be from other tribes. The statue gives me proud, which I already have proud, so let's do it again. Proud. The Queen of Heaven has abandoned us, but why? What have we done? The woman plan out water rations for the coming summer. What's here? Dust folk are buried here over the years where the Seeker's blood magics are insufficient. I was chosen to be the Seeker's apprentice. I hope I can learn the blood arts well enough to deserve the honor. That's one of the heroes you can play, the witch. Uh, let's talk to the prophet, or the Seeker. Demuzi, so your feast has been cut short as well. We have no sign here of what the, why this could happen. But someone out there must know. And that's basically it. Yep, so we still have two days remaining. What other towns have we missed? We miss any other towns? I don't see any. Nope. So I think let's go. If we go this way, we'll be able to go to this area, whatever that is. So let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out. Random. Add another area. Insert one right. Okay, and we'll just keep track of everything. Yeah, we're not really going for killing uh, monsters. We're just trying to find events at this point. Oh, what are you doing? Gilgamesh. This guy is new. I don't think I've ever encountered him. Gilga? Nope, I have not. You, you look strong, but I am the mightiest. They call me protector of the people, raging flood that destroys all defenses. I am the man who can make the world tremble. I am supreme, not Demuzi. Oh, we're gonna tackle you, but let me write down these choices first. Agree and tackle. Huh. Finally, a worthy challenger. You wrestle, and after a long scuffle, you eventually pin him. You are so tall and strong with muscles like rock. You truly are Demuzi the Supreme. Foolishness and three strength. All right. Uh, foolishness, three strength. Oh, he falls in love with me. And I get, f oh, okay, that was foolishness. All right, let's get out of here. Go find more events. So we can fill our little spreadsheet in. I mean, eventually we're gonna run out of events. I'm sure of it, right? Eventually, we will have done everything. Ah! The hell? Are these robots? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Uh, that's a boss bet. Damn it. Got sucked into it. Ah! 
my dodging was all over the place. I guess let's grab everything. Anything else up here? More stuffs, more stuffs. What is it over here? Hold on a second. There's usually a coin. Oh, I may have picked up the coin already. Yeah, you can only do unique uh, unique events one time each playthrough. I think I already picked it up. Ah! What's in here? Money? Money. Oh. I've already done that. Oh, Lamish. Oh, nope, a pilgrim. Commune with the wind spirits. Maybe their breath holds something. Let's see. Pilgrim. Um. So, opals. Uh, hold on a second. There's a wind. This gets a wind spirit. Uh, wind spirit? No, hold on a second. There is something here where you give them the opals. Mm, Pazuza, the wind spirit. Let me just write, let me update this. So basically, whatever option you choose, this wind spirit shows up. And you get two options. Oh, she wants a carp sandwich after given opals. Uh, by Pilgrim. By Pilgrim. Hi, Pilgrim. Hi, Pilgrim. So we're gonna do opals again. We're gonna ask her to wear it this time. I think. I think that does it. Ooh. That is a volcano. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. A little bit of lag. Uh, let's go to... Is this a dead end over here on the right? Yep, yeah, okay, so let's go left. This is probably the camp, but... We'll see. Ow, ow. Doesn't hurt. I don't know what that does. That's the camp. That's a dead end. But there's money. Yeah, I don't think I can go back to the town once I've visited it once. Ah! Yeah, my guess is to get the true ending, maybe I have to visit all five tribes? And then do that puzzle sequence to summon the Moon Mother? It doesn't really tell you. You know? You know? I don't need to heal. Oof. It's over here. Why is this there? I guess I can't make it over there, can I? Nope. Uh, okay. So let's go to the right. Gotta be more events. Uh, that looks like a boss fight, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa. Not a boss fight. This kind of looks like it. Probably is, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Give me that money. Easy. Easy enough. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, well, dead end. Yeah, I'm guessing that there has to be specific quests depending on the hero you play. I already talked to you, Gilgamesh. Uh, let's go to the left. What is this? It could always be worse. DFQ? Alright. I don't know what that means. DFQ. 
Hey, Lamish. Oh, right, right. I've done this before. So if I go, let's go Lamesh. If I encourage, I get compassionate. If I mock, I get cunning. And I can't look at my abilities. Let's mock you. Okay. Oop. Yeah, where did I find you last time? That's what I'm curious. The Moonfall Pass. I gotta check and see if that's the same area I'm in right now. Just to determine if he's a random event, or if he's actually just here forever. So, oh, oh, plant block in the way. Hey, we have a merchant. Kind of don't want to buy anything, though. Yeah, I kind of don't want to buy anything. I need a hundred. I need a hundred money. So I can buy an ingredient next time I'm in town. Oh! This should do it. There we go. Hundred? Hundred fifteen. Alright, we can go back to camp. This game is in bad lo bad need of mounts. Like a horse, a goat, a pony. Because backtracking kinda sucks. Ooh. Okay. This is the right way, right? Did I go the right way? Yeah, this feels like the right way. Yeah, and to the right. I think. <laughs> oh, nope, wrong way. Shit. Yeah, I wish there was a way to make a bigger map so I could see where I need to go next. Or I could just remember it. Get off me. Yeah, I'm gonna do some serious organization of my spreadsheet here. Camp! Alright, so was that Moonfall? No, that was Crystal Canyon. Hmm. So maybe if it's a mountainous area? Mountain area. Maybe he shows up there. Steadfast. That's new. Steadfast. I get uh, foolish. Alright. I don't know how to get that. I don't know how I got that. Hey, I can talk to Gilgamesh in camp. That's pretty cool. Gilgamesh and the witch. Kubeli. Kubeli. Oh, she isn't on here. Kubeli. Okay. Let's talk to Gilgamesh. Oh. Demuzi the Supreme, I've been looking everywhere for you. I wrote you a poem. Look at his eyes. He's got hearts for eyes. Let us crash like wild bulls. Let us smash like wild bulls. Let our heart be fearless and crash and smash and then crash some more. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. He made things awkward. So I think we're just going to tackle him again. Ah, your violence only makes you more attractive. You wrestle until you're both so exhausted you are not certain who won. Gilgamesh falls asleep. Vengeful, okay. Vengeful. Five endurance. That it? Okay. And what about Kubeli? Sometimes I feel lost, directionless, without the moon to guide me. Nothing tells me what to do. What do you use to find the way? Um. Maps. Maps. Or instinct. Uh, instinct. Um, I think I did instinct last time, so I'll do maps. Ha! If only it were that easy. Perhaps we should pray that the Queen of Heaven find her map to find her way home, hmm? Briefly, a vision of shared ancestors shimmers by firelight. The Seeker will chide me for lapsing in my studies. I must return. Maybe I can join you when I am stronger. That is foolish. Foolish. 
So I guess if you visit the towns and talk to the other heroes, they'll show up in camp. Go hunting! Strength and spirit. Hey, it's this guy. Or this gal? Is some mud? Sorry, I couldn't greet you properly earlier, but I guess I didn't pray hard enough. The Queen of Heaven. Sometimes I'm afraid she's dead. That the sun finished what he started. Um, I swear I've seen this person before. No? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I swear I have come across this person before. Hmm. Reassure. No, I guess not. Alright. Let's type it. Isomud. Reassure. Or it might have been one of those playthroughs I did when I wasn't actually keeping track. Uh, let's reassure. I know, I know. Her power is eternal and her knowledge infinite. I am weak and easily frightened. Thank you. I'll try to be brave like you. Okay. Brave. And five endurance. What is that fire? The forests are burning. All right, last day. Um, okay, so I can go to the great tree. And that's a lonesome one ocean. Yeah, let's go to the great tree. That's a town, so that won't, I don't think that'll do anything bad. Great tree. Yep, and I have been here before. Uh, one second, guys. One second. Let's finish this town, and uh, I have to run. Got to adult. Oh, good health or wealth. Did I do that? Did I do that? Oh, good health or wealth. Uh, so the tree, last time I went here, it was, uh, it was uh, peace or power. Interesting. We'll type in Damuzi. Maybe it's tied to a specific hero. Good health or wealth? Uh, let's do good health. Five endurance and wise. Okay. Wise, five endurance. Okay. Let's go talk to some people. If I can get out of here. Lamish. Old Lamish. All right, last time I talked to this bird, I defied him. So let's obey. Uh, I got foolish. Foolish. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We don't need any of this, right? It's just creatures. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't think there's any other towns. Oh, Windy, Aridia, uh, and then there's the parched, smold, and lonesome ocean. So we've been to all the towns. So I guess we can't go anywhere else. I guess let's finish it. Let's, let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I do have to adult. I want to finish this playthrough, but uh, I got some stuff I need to get done. So we're gonna go ahead and save the game here and we will be back on Is today Tuesday. We'll be back here on Thursday. So thanks for hanging out guys. Thanks for those that you're lurking and following and all that good stuff. And we will be back on again Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, let me find someone to raid. See you Sean.
you know what? Let's go ahead and shoot Eric Tyler away. A raid he's back on after I think a month or so hiatus. Very fun guy. Alright, hopefully I see you guys on Thursday.